States of America. Uh, I guess all I have to talk about is a little bit important. It's uh, how we feel in the United States and what we're doing and uh, how we're affecting the world. Uh, we're a world police, which we should be because we're number one. We don't have to be, but we do have a lot of people. We do live in excess, so we should be a world police. However, we don't dig in our own backyard. We do have the number two oil producing country in the world with Venezuela, and we don't choose to go there and dig just because it's in our backyard. We don't have to be a world police, but we are. We don't support our own, whether it be the homeless or ourselves with Social Security. We don't have anything long term, everything is short term, give me, give me, give me now. But that's the way we live. Short term, we used to be a melting pot, made us great. It's not anymore. We don't want the people who do the dirty jobs to do it anymore because they're taken away from everybody else. But nobody wants to do it when we're here. We expect a lot, we do a little. That's all I have to say. <laughs> My name is Erica, and I'm from Warwick. My name is Michelle, and I'm from Seekonk. And yesterday, an, in an interesting thing happened. Tell me what happened, Erica. Basically, my husband and I were driving in our car, and we, had our, we were towing our boat. Driving safely. Very safely. Wearing seatbelts. Of course. Mm -hmm. And... We came to the crosswalk. And made a complete stop. Well, no, we, we weren't stopped. <laughs> no, 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 you were stopped. Go ahead. Um, no, we weren't stopped. But there was no one in the road. But all of a sudden, this old guy doesn't look and darts out in the road. With dementia. He was not all there. So we slam on the brakes with the boat behind us. But luckily, the trailer didn't jackknife. And they were like, oh, my God. My phone's ringing. <laughs> so anyway, we stopped and we didn't kill the old guy. And then we went and we were waiting to put in the boat. And I went to the liquor store and the old guy was there. So I was tempted to say, listen, old guy, maybe you should look both ways before darting out in the middle of a busy intersection. Yeah, because he, because he didn't look. He didn't look at all. He didn't look. And, but, I, but I said, you know what, I'm not going to tell this old guy what to do. He's like 105 anyway. Yeah, Maybe that, he was old. wasted. And yeah. I mean, he's hanging out at the liquor store. Oh, so. boons. <laughs> Peach boons. Mm. The best boons. boons. Yep. <laughs> so anyway, so he holds the door for me when I'm leaving the liquor store with my 30 rack. Very nice. And I said, thank you. And old he goes, man with dementia. And he said in like an Irish brogue, he said, you're going out on your boat today. And I said, uh, yeah. Thinking, like, I almost hit you with my boat, so we're going out on it. And then he said, um, we'll have fun. And I was like, okay, I will. But I was like, did he realize that we almost killed him? He was or die? is he busting my balls? Was he? I don't know. I'll never know. You'll never know? <laughs> but you stopped. But we stopped, and we didn't kill anyone, and we got the boat in, and we went out, and we had fun, and everything was fine. That's good. Charles Pisano. I'm a resident of the state of Rhode Island. <clears throat> Basically, uh, as usual, I have two issues to talk about. One is concerning uh, saving the internet. They're about to, uh, Congress is about to change the internet into uh, something really horrible. Uh, basically, free speech is uh, coming to an end. This program is uh, one of the last bastions of free speech. That's why I come here. I belong to a group Save the internet.org. I would suggest you join it also. Basically, uh, they're going to hand the internet off to 10 corporations. You're going to have to ask one of the 10 corporations before you can put your stuff on the internet uh, if it's uh, okay with them to uh, have your stuff on the internet. And that's completely wrong and uh, basically against free speech and freedom of uh, thought and all concerning our country and all. So <clears throat> basically, the internet, too, is going to come along. And it's going to be worse than what China is doing to their people as far as censoring and uh, keeping you from uh, knowing what the real truth is. 
The other pro topic that I uh, have chosen to talk about tonight is about electing politicians. We have a very strange culture in this co country concerning who we elect to be our uh, politicians. We keep electing millionaires. We are absolute morons. We, the normal people who are trying to get by every week, basically know how to fu push four quarters together to buy a loaf of bread. Well, a millionaire, he doesn't even know what the price of gas is. He doesn't care. He doesn't care about how much it costs to heat his uh, multi-million dollar home and all. He doesn't care about anything because he has no concerns. So why do we keep putting millionaires over and over again into political office? What we should be doing is we should be putting in people that are normal, that know how to do these things, that understand what the price of a gallon of gas is, that uh, are living a day-to-day -day life as the uh, founding fathers envisioned doing work is uh, a welder, a carpenter, a mechanic, a house painter, whatever uh, occupation you happen to be in, instead of these millionaires who have no concept of how it is to uh, operate on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, we are a really strange culture, and I really want you to think very deeply when you go into the voting booth in the future and uh, find the, the person that's the most normal, that's the most like you to, uh, to put, the, put into office because that person can't do any worse than a millionaire in reality. The millionaire is actually going to make more mistakes and he's going to be more concerned about his millionaire friends making their uh, money instead of the, the normal people coming up and all. So uh, I would suggest that you think about things like that. That's my shmoo for tonight. Hi, I'm uh, Joseph Hart, and I want to tell you a little bit about uh, my t-shirt and why I'm wearing it. Um, I really think this guy uh, should be tried for high crimes and misdemeanors, uh, including the, uh, the rest of the administration. Uh, they have committed the worst crimes this country has ever seen. and. Our Bill of Rights, they're, they're gone because of him. He's taken them away. And uh, I want you to do your research. Look it up. Prove me wrong that they're not gone. Go, uh, go try to have some free speech not in front of a camera. Do it in front of your state house. Won't happen. They'll, take, they'll pull you right out. You gotta get a permit. I don't have to pay for nothing. I don't have to do nothing to, to say what I want to say to my government. Uh, that's just our basic rights. Uh, we went to a war unjust. We continue to stay there. We've uh, elected uh, Democrats to be in office so we can get out of the war. And yet, they're controlling both uh, um, houses and they can't even do it. They can't do it. So why'd you guys put them in? You know, uh, People die every day because of these decisions. And uh, I think we should all be mad about that. Uh, even just one human life, that's enough. That's enough for me. Um, and every day we go through uh, losing more and more and more. And, you know, other wars we've had reasons. And uh, some of these reasons, you should look those up too. But uh, they haven't really represented the people. And uh, I, I want you to look up USS Liberty and uh, find out. Uh, the tragedy that happened uh, on that tragic day and um, you'll feel some hurt inside you if you're not doing anything about it and uh, I can't really blame you because they don't want to tell you anything about it they try to cover it up so check out that um, Gulf of Tolkien um, let's see what else there is uh, Lusitania it's a good one you should really look into these and uh, you'll find the truth that's really behind them. And uh, the same thing happened to us. Uh, you know, we need a, apparently a tragic event, uh, like a new Pearl Harbor, that's what they called it. And um, so that we could pursue uh, the Middle East into uh, Afghanistan, then Iraq, for, for no reason to go into Iraq. Um, and. Which side are you on? I really want to know. Thank you.